I'm WSA 9 meteorologist Topper Shot. I guess some good news over the last six hours on Sunday night. The pressure actually did not go down, even went up a little bit in, in uh, Tropical Storm Sally. So that's good. That means it's not strengthening yet, but it is forecast to become a Category 1 storm uh, sometime on Monday. Hurricane warnings cover most of Louisiana. Could make landfall Tuesday morning uh, as a Category 1. It's also going to slow its forward speed, which is not good news for the storm surge and also for a heavy rainfall. After that, this is now Friday uh, at 1130 at night. It's barely to Birmingham and Atlanta. So I think in terms of the remnants for us, it's going to stay to the south of us. But that does not spell good news for our friends in Mississippi and Alabama with heavy rainfall. There are the hurricane warnings. They extend through almost the entire coast of Louisiana and also uh, Mississippi. Tropical storm warnings uh, east and west of those uh, hurricane warnings. So rainfall is the big deal. No doubt about it. I think between New Orleans and Mobile around Biloxi and Gulfport, they could see as much as 10 inches of rain. And that's going to be, I think, the main threat with isolated tornadoes, especially if she uh, slows her forward speed, which most models are in agreement that she's going to do. So Sally should become a hurricane by Monday afternoon. Main threats are flooding and a big storm surge. And that hurricane warning includes Lakes Pontchartrain, by the way. And then landfall around early Tuesday morning around New Orleans, but it will slow down. And that will increase the threat of flooding.